everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 34 of Mountain Blade Warband. So we are currently continuing to shop for our second enterprise. Uh, what can you tell me about uh, this region compared to Calradia? Uh, overall, the wealthiest town in Calradia is known to be Charis. Here in Uxal, we are poorer than 18 towns. And richer than three. They're poorest of the poor then. Okay. In lo terms of local industry, the most productive town in Calrade is known to be Yalan. Here in Oxal, we produce less than 10 towns and produce more than 11. So they're middling. In terms of output of surrounding villages, the towns of Dirim is the richest in Calrade. And here in Oxal, the villages produce less than the hinterland around. Uh, I, I don't think this is turning out to be good. Uh, okay. Um... Let us see if we wish to buy a land here, a mill, uh, oh, we will lose money? <laughs> okay, uh, how about brewery? Uh, 2,500, we will make 152 dinars a week. Uh, 25, 10% is 250, 125 is about 5%. Okay, that's not bad actually. 5% return. How about a tannery? 8,000. Uh, ooh, we lose money? No, forget it. Nah, no. How about wine and grapes? Um, 5,000, oh, not bad, 5,000, 10% uh, is 500, oh, labor, I guess your profit will be 10 dinars a week, oh, forget it, I thought it, the 324 was the answer, okay, no, 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 I was, I should read it more carefully, uh, we're going to, okay, uh, grapes, how about olives, uh, oil, uh, oh, we'll lose business, uh, Wow, Oxhall is bad. Okay, uh, Iron Works. For, uh, the profit 44 dinars a week? How about a Weavery and Dye Works? 539, uh, that's about 5%. Okay, no, that's not econo economical for me. Uh, no, okay. Uh, I think this was the one, right? The brewery, the ale. This is, yeah, 10% is 250, 125 would be its. Wow, this is terrible. No, okay, let's leave. Wow, that is not good at all. Okay, uh, let's leave. And of course, they did not have a, uh, what do you call this? They did not have a... Uh, a ransom broker. We're looking for a ransom broker. They're going at 5.6. Ah, Castle Ergalon. Such a lovely spot at the foot of the Rodok Mountains. Tell me more. I'd come up here with a small Swedish force, but they were caught by the Rodoks in the woods and their horsemen cut down amid the trees. I fled and found shelter up in the high valleys in the arms of the com comeliest cowherd you ever saw. Took me a cave near the high pasture. So, so they are pasture huh and would bring me cheese and berries and tell me the tales from the hills of playful goat men who guide lost animals back to their flocks and of ghostly huntsmen who so they are shepherds 
Eventually I had to leave and sometimes I wonder if there is a little herds boy swaddled on her back as she takes the cow up the pasture each morning. I'd be tempted to find her, but no, 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 I should never go back. So maybe hides is what is, uh, would be a good investment, like a tannery or something. And we can check with Veluca. Come on, give us a ransom broker. Count Delard of the Swedia. Who's that guy? Minstrel. Come on, come on. Clethy. No. Ouch. No. No ransom broker. We cannot move because we have 23 prisoners as it is. Uh, King Graveth is often looking for mercenaries to fight in his wars. Of course, the land is currently at peace. Uh, Count Freychen has been asking around for someone who might work for him. No, but I will. Guild Master over at Yellen has put together a bounty that has been attacking travelers. Uh, you might want to speak with him. Ouch. Okay. Uh... No ransom broker. Okay, we want to sell the stuff. Oh yeah, they've got grapes here. Okay. Wow. So grapes, maybe wine pressing? Wine and ale maybe? 119, grapes 123. Bread is just reasonably priced. Okay. Uh, head back. You know what? Maybe I better save this because we might bump into uh, bad people in here. Save as. Trying to look for the guild master. Oh, uh, yeah. Could be this guy right here. Yeah. Uh. It's known to be Sharius. Okay. Yeah. We with that. Uh. We produce the. We the most encourage Yalen. We produce less than one town and produce more than twenty. Is of course affected. Ooh, so say that again. Uh, I missed that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's right. Here, Calrade is known to be Yalen. Here in Veluca, we produced less than one town. So Veluca is the is the best one. Or oh, Yalen is the best one. And produced more than 20. Production is, of course, affected by supply room. Okay. In terms of output of the surrounding villages, the town of Dirim is the, the richest. Here in Veluca, the villages produced less than... So they're number four and produced more than 18. Uh, is heavily dependent on tides of war, looting and pillaging. Okay. In terms of trade town, Durkuba is believed to have received the most visits. In Vil here in Veluca, we have we are less visited than eleven towns and more than so they're just middling for caravans. Caravan. In terms of attacks and travelers, the town of Ikamur is to be the most dangerous. Here in Veluca, we are less affected by bandits and raiders than sixteen towns and more affected than five towns. So they're pretty safe then. Uh, how about production? 
Uh, what's a bakery? Uh, oh, should your profit would be thirty dinar dinars a week? Now forget it. Uh, How about ale? This should be interesting. Twenty-five. Your profit should be one thirty-seven. Oh, not as good. Uh, Oaks Hall is actually better. They have one fifty plus. Uh, wow, this is not good. How about leather? Yeah, this should be yeah because uh, host Bahesha was telling us that up in the mountains was this lady uh, manufacturing batch. Well, wow, eight thousand, and the profit would be two eighty nine. Uh, no. And I had hoped that that would be. How about grapes? I we see a lot of grapes here. What? We lose money. Sheesh. How about olives? Uh, ooh. Oh, I guess. Very good. The land and the materials on which you may build your oil press will cost 4500 Right now, your oil press will produce oil worth 950 dinars each week. While oil, the olives needed to manufacture that batch will be 276 and labor upkeep will, I would guess your profit would be whoa that is good that oh yeah 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 here is the money okay did we see that right very good your enterprise should be up and running in about a week um, when next you come and thereafter you should speak to your master presser about this operation Wow Thank you, thank you. I think, uh, uh, let's leave and then let us save this. I think we found our second enterprise. I hope, <laughs> I hope I read that correctly, right? Uh, we saved it over here. So that means we have enough money to buy another enterprise. You already operate an old press here. There probably aren't enough skilled. Okay, okay. Uh, what? What? Do you have a job for me here? Actually, I'm looking for someone who escort a caravan. Perhaps you can do that. Uh, I'm going to send a caravan of goods to Yalan. Uh, however, with those bandits, you can. If you that is 15 days, you will receive 125 dinars. No. I think earlier in the game. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Earlier in the game, maybe that's something we could have done. We have short shortages of salt, raw silk, dyes, dates, furs, smoked fish, grapes. Oh. Okay. Uh, the caravan side or the trading side actually is would be an interesting game to play and a way to make money for us also. But maybe not not at this time. Okay. Uh, horse merchant. Uh, you have a fine eye for horses. Do we have anything to sell? No. Uh, that's a saddle horse, right? Oh, we already have. I think we still have a saddle horse. Uh, heavy saddle horse. Uh, oh, that's a war horse. Ooh, I'd love to. Oh, we have to get our riding up to up to four okay uh, I think we're quite a ways away so goodbye so I think we found our second enterprise Count Matthias uh... we still have not found a um... 
Should we now make our way to Sheritz? Uh, I think this is... We can't cross through here, can we? I think we have to go back out. Let's look at our inventory. Oh, we're down to 1,500. Okay, 15,000. Hold on, why are we so slow? We were going... We were going at... Uh, what? We don't have the... Oh, maybe it's all the food we're carrying? Oh yeah, it's each one weighs 30. Okay, maybe it's all the food we're carrying. Because <laughs> I'm surprised, we're suddenly going so slow. 5.4. At one point... We were going like at six, and how about our our party? Uh, see, that's cavalry, 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 Bahester cavalry, Alliance cavalry. Only these guys are infantry. These are cavalry, cavalry. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. So they're all cavalry. We're all cavalry. Why are we slow? I guess must be. I think I just we we overbought in terms of food. We're we're trying to get to Sheris. Okay. Or rather, I'm 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 really desperate to offload uh, those guys. What's caravan from? The Sultanates. Okay. So when we're fighting, can we fight? Uh, can we pillage the caravans? King uh, Rodox. I hope I I did not misread that uh, last enterprise we bought that it is indeed gonna yield us about 500 bucks. Oh no, it's night time now. Manhunters, okay. Uh Midnight. You know what? Let us save it here. So if uh, if there is no ransom broker in Sharis, 
we can oh no we still we still want to find out what the business is like in the is okay I guess that's just a, uh, something uh, we have to deal with in terms of a uh, waste I just it just I, I just struggle with the fact that we are wasting time here instead of we're up in the north uh, making money <laughs> uh. ooh ouch Wow our revenue from river check has reduced to 1200 ah that is what I worry about okay uh Hopefully we uh, come across. See, the, they are running at three point four. Can we even chase them? Five point six. I don't think we can catch them. Or five point four. Forget it. Let's go into Sherry's. Sir, Nizar is a base braggart, a man with no respect, with no respect for the honor of women. I'm tired of hearing how he conquered this or that damsel. <sighs> man, come on, give us a broker here, please. Mutt held. Traveler, not held. Uh, go to the town center. Uh, sure is. Okay, let us save this. Again, yeah, if we make a mistake, we can always back out. Yeah, I'm starting to see that bickering among our people, uh, our companions. Uh, I don't think uh, I will stand that, uh, but Alayan is the most recent. Uh, what? So the war is coming. Our, our caravans get raided before they reach their destination. Our merchants are afraid to leave the safety of town walls. And as if those aren't enough, the taxes to maintain the war take away the last bits of our savings. Savings. If peace does not come soon, we cannot hold on much longer. You are right. But who can stop this madness called war? There has been an attempt to reconcile two sides and reach a settlement. However, there are powerful lords on both sides whose interests lie in continuing the war. These men urge all others not to heed to the word of sensible men, but to keep fighting. While these leaders remain influential, no peace settlement can be reached. Who are these, war uh, who are these lords you speak of? Who are these warriors you who block the way of peace? They're Emir Nuwas from Saranid Sultanate and Nasuge Noyan from Kyrgyz Khanate. Until they change their mind or lose their influence, there will be no chance of having peace between the two sides. What can be done about this? There is a way to resolve the issue. A particularly determined person can perhaps persuade one 
or both of these lords to accept making peace and even if that fails it can be possible to see that these lords are defeated by force and taken prisoner if they are captive they will lose their influence and they can no longer oppose a settlement what do you think can you do it what you want us to go out there uh, and capture it but we are not officially allied with them uh, most of the merchant in town will gladly open up their purses to support such a plan I think we can offer to collect 12,000 dinars between ourselves we will be happy to reward your you with that sum if you can work this out convince Emir Nuwas and Nasuge Noya to accept a peace settlement and if either of them proves too stubborn make sure he feels he falls captive and cannot be ransomed until a peace is settled whoa I cannot do this if there is a man who can manage to do this it is you I guess we are not getting a business here we came all the way here for nothing ha huh, okay anyway um, I am really <laughs> I'm really uh, okay uh, okay let's leave uh, Hopefully we made the right purchase in uh, Hopefully we made the right purchase in Rodok country in Veluka uh, That that is indeed uh, A worthwhile uh, what do you call it enterprise for us uh, So Apparently this thing will be repeated wherever we go uh, there Sir Sharius, Darkuba, Halmar. You know what? Uh, what I will do is I'll try to make our way to Darkuba and then left to Halmar and then north back to our stomping grounds. Uh, because uh, we are here and we are apparently, or we can just go straight to Halmar. I still want to check. Maybe. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, this is very frustrating. We come all the way down here, hopefully to uh, pick out something, uh, get an enterprise going. We actually spent like what I was that seven hundred bucks or something, or five hundred bucks uh, in terms of uh, maintenance that we yeah we lost because uh, we weren't out there uh, making money. Uh, and given our current our current inventory wow we have so much bread right maybe yeah it's my fault we have so much bread <laughs> uh, I was too greedy okay uh, maybe we need more pack horses you know what let's check maybe we can buy more okay anyway let me cut this episode right here uh, so uh, in the next episode, I will uh, we will continue. But I think I'll just buy some pack horses here, so that it will help us or speed our ability to travel. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.